kidding me, right? One million? I'm rich! Wednesday. Are you really okay? I'm not okay, and I'm Rick. The sisters are in for a wild ride. Ooh. That's a major yeehaw. Because while some relationships are taking off... I really want this to happen. Others... Either she's gonna accept me for who I am, or she's not. I told him that I can't do that. May crash and burn. What happened? I told her that I loved her, and I want to be with her. Get out! Go! Tyler Perry's All right, Sisters fans. Now, at the moment, it is 1.52 p.m. on November 19th. The reason I'm saying this is because, as of right now, they have not officially released the promo for next week. Um, The only ones I have, because people are like, Jeremy, you got to talk about it. The only ones I've had, because over 50 people have messaged me with recordings from their TV <laughs> with the promo. There was a 15-second promo, and then they put out the 30-second promo. Um, on television, they have not been placed on social media, so that's why I don't have like a high resolution one at the beginning of the video. I'm only using screenshots from the in credit trailer, which people have sent me and I do have access to. But if there's anything I have wrong, please forgive me because there are two bits I feel I can't get right because since people recorded those scenes on the off their TV with their phones. I could have misheard it. Um, the couple scenes I'm talking about is it looks like Karen did go to the dinner or whatever with Aaron and they're sitting at the bar area. And I believe Aaron says, well, did you get what you need? And Karen's like, oh, I'm not OK. I'm a wreck. I think that's what she says. If I'm right, then good. If not, oh, well. And then the other part is the beginning of the 30 second trailer where I think somebody says a million and Zach's like, I'm rich. So apparently, he has an even bigger stock victory. Holy crap. Isn't it amazing whenever Zach loses dead weight, a.k.a. a woman, he comes up? Just saying. Anyway, so um, the episode we're talking about is Season 3, Episode 18, From a Woman, airing November 24th. So I, I bet at this time, that's when people... Yeah, if it be 9 o'clock on Wednesday night, I bet people will be, uh, you know, prepping their turkeys and whatnot to go in the oven. That way they wake up on Thanksgiving Day and get things ready for the big dinner. And this is brilliant to have a tea-spilling episode like this airing before Thanksgiving so everybody can sit around the table and talk. Oh, yeah, this will be good. Danny has second thoughts about asking Preston for space when it doesn't look or feel the way it she thought it would. Heh, whatever. So, before moving forward, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe because we are less than 1,000 people away from 190,000 subscribers. Hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. So, of course, the last episode ended with what appeared to be Zach overhearing part of the conversation Fatima had with her friend, which was indeed a fake phone call to fool Hayden now he goes inside and it looks like he's saying I got some bad news and remember I'm mashing together all the dialogue from the various trailers he says I told her that I love her and I want to be with her I knew you would do this I knew you would do what you want to do just like every other nigga get out go and we see Zach with his bags packed and you know Fatima tells him to leave now Going over to the hotel, you got Andy in bed with uh, Robin. You know, she doesn't have her shirt or blazer on, her blazer or, you know, basically her top's off aside from her. She She's barely in any clothes. Robin seems to be in his full outfit, maybe minus shoes and belt. I don't know. We only see his upper torso. But Andy says, I really want this to happen. And then the next scene we see her um, coming out of the bedroom. It looks like, you know, she's kind of like brushing her, you know, blazer, make sure she looks put together. And then Zach comes along and it looks like he's in the room, like right across from Robbins because Andy, what's up? Zach, what you doing here? <laughs> so um, that leads to the scene where it looks like Zach is in his room on the phone and somebody says a million. Now the person who sent me this video there's a bunch of like static feedback, but I had to play it back and I do believe I heard a million on the phone. Some people are thinking that it's some kind of setup by Hayden. I don't know because he still, he suspects something is wrong with Zach, 
But remember, the woman at the bank told Zach, hey, here's... I don't remember the exact amounts, folks. It's been... Remember, this reminds me of the haves and the have-nots in regards to like how much money Benny borrowed for the truck. I think it was like 35, 40,000 plus the interest bull crap. Um, so I don't remember. I, the notebook where I had the information about the loan details, or excuse me, the stock market win, how much money was taken out from the account because that was three notebooks ago and I was thrown away. And I'm not going through my old videos. That takes too long. Basically... There was a large portion that Zach took out of his account and put in another account. And then the woman advised her, hey, why don't you keep maybe a couple hundred thousand in this stock account? Because here's a portfolio with all the stocks that our bank works with. Um, and I believe that instead of taking the packet, Zach said, hey, this is a lot to take in. Do you mind emailing this to me? I think that's what he said. I don't think he took the folder with him because, you know, he's still learning. And basically you know they would be in touch about hey here's some recommendations of this stock that stock because the bank has a reputation of basically they have a bunch of portfolios and stocks in their library if you will that have been very successful now i will say this much i don't think this is illegal activity that hayden's been conspiring in where it's like first i want to break him and fatima up then i want to you know put him behind bars for good no i don't think that's it I feel that maybe Zach got a win because perhaps off screen, he communicated with the bank to move some of the money around on this stock, that stock. We don't know because remember, I know people complain about, oh, we only got like three minutes of Zatima on this episode. Exactly because there's stuff they're doing off screen we don't know about. So I think it's possible Zach could have had a huge win due to the fact that he, you know, put more money on this stock, that stock. He probably uh, studied when we didn't see it. So just keep that in mind. I mean, hell, for all we know, he could have been studying as he finished up his last couple of days of work. Just saying. So I don't think there's anything shady. I get it why people might be like, hmm, but I think this is legit. And I could be wrong, but I'm just saying what I think. So um, it looks like Calvin is back at the apartment with Maurice telling him that, yeah, I told her everything. So either she's going to accept me for who I am or she's not. And then Sabrina calls Danny. And Danny's like, hey, I was just about to call you because it looks like, you know, her and Rodeo have a hell of a good night. And then he's getting ready to leave. And Danny's like, where are you going? Home. Uh, you know, you can stay tonight if you um, want to. Um, you know, you can stay, right? Uh, and I mean it. And Preston's like, Danny, I don't want to do that because that leads to the synopsis of her having second thoughts about Preston leaving. So, you know, obviously she was going to call Sabrina, but no, Sabrina called first. I found out some more about Calvin, and I'm like, here we go. And she says, I can't do that. So probably reiterating what he told her about his fetish and kinks, and it's like, I can't really do that kind of stuff. So after that, um, there's a scene where it looks like Fatima and Andy are at a bar. I don't know if this is the same bar at the hotel, the... Uh, um, dang it, what is the name of the hotel? Is it no, not the Carlisle. Basically, the hotel that Andy and Robin at are right now, the same one that Zach is staying in. Um, so you know, it looks like they're sitting at a bar somewhere and they're drinking, probably exchanging tea, you know, from Andy sleeping with Robin to Fatima and Zach's falling out. And I do feel like that's going to lead to something else, which I'll discuss in another video. Um, then we have another scene where Andy arrives home, you know, from the sex in the bar, and Gary's there waiting for her. And like I said before, Aaron's asking Karen how she is and she's a nervous wreck. So that's it. Yeah, um, that's all I have. So like I said, I don't know. I'm only recording this first. I don't know if I'm going to include the video at the beginning. For some reason, anytime I add the end credit trailer to a video, it gets flagged for copyright. But then if I just add the promo that was actually 30 seconds long and on social media, for some reason that doesn't get flagged. I don't know. But regardless, um, that's the promo in itself. Sabrina Calvin, it is what it is. Danny Preston, look, this is what you asked for, Danny. Um, Andy and Robin, I have no thoughts on this. Andy's a hoe. And um, with Karen, yeah, I mean, what what is Aaron supposed to do? It's like, well, I mean, if nothing else, Aaron should just say, you know what? Um, if you're not over him, I'm just going to move on. There's nothing I can do. And with the Zach and Fatima stuff, yeah, I'll talk about that in a separate video. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. I hope you have a wonderful pre-Thanksgiving weekend. 
uh, because next week is going to be crazy. Um, you know, I don't know if in your area kids are off of school. For some reason, my nephew has the entire week off, and I'm like, for real? I know they said, like, you know, mental health break and everything for kids. I'm like, the whole thing last year was getting them back in school because the lack of interaction. Now you're just giving them a full week off? What the hell? So, um, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.